once told me that I looked like Inspector Gadget in this coat. And I was honestly offended. Like, and that was the last time that I had worn it, which was actually for my 21st birthday party in Vegas, which was awesome. But yeah, I haven't worn it since because I didn't want to look like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I bought this jacket around the same time, maybe I was 20, 21, and it was at a time in my life when I was just starting to get into fashion. And yes, there was a time where I wasn't into fashion, like all I wanted to wear was swooshy pants and a t-shirt. All my 90s friends will understand that <laughs> and know what swooshy pants are. But we're gonna upcycle it so I don't look like Inspector Gadget anymore. And, whew, like just getting kind of hot. <laughs> this coat is actually the inspo. I found this on a runway and if you look really closely, a lot of these details are very hard to replicate. Like this half in half out bra, like what even is that and how does one even wear that? <laughs> So we won't be adding a bra, but we will be adding words. And I'm already anticipating these buttons being a problem. I'm planning on using my Cricut and HTV vinyl for the words that will go on the jacket, but how do I make sure that they stick given that this is a waterproof jacket? And do I have enough words to fill the whole thing? We've got a whole side of a trench coat to fill with words. Oh, oh. Okay, I just got the vinyl in the mail. Haven't looked at it yet. It is, yeah, that. <laughs> I bought two different shades of blue and I'll show you why. Just hoping they're the right shades of blue. Also, we're gonna add in a little sparkle. Oh, oh, okay. We have this powder blue vinyl and Oh my, <laughs> this HTV holographic vinyl, which I'm not entirely sure that they go together. Do like the color of the blue though. And I feel like I already know what you might be thinking. Oh my God, she's gonna put blue on black? Yes, I am. So we just need to make sure that this blue is light enough. Yeah, I think it's gonna really stand out. It's not like a navy blue on black. Thank goodness. But this, on the other hand, I just want one sheet. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, I guess it looks cool. We'll have to assess as we go along. I have big plans for this trench coat because it is one part of a three-part ensemble. So if I can't make it work, then I can't make the other two parts work, quite frankly. And I'm planning on wearing all three pieces to an event at the art museum. So honestly, there is no plan B with this jacket. It's all or nothing, baby. Part one, or I guess I should say, one part to this three-part ensemble is this foil skirt. And no, it's not leather. It's actually like a foily spandex material. I have a whole video on how I made this bad boy. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it above and below. Second part is this blue top. It's kinda eh. And then third part, obviously, is the trench coat. And can you tell that I love the color blue? Can you guys hear it raining? Cause I have the windows open and it's raining. <laughs> and I have the windows open because I actually need to unwaterproof the jacket before I can get to the fun part of actually putting the lettering or the words on. So I YouTube this and YouTube told me to use this Alba Chem VLR letter removing solvent. And apparently, yeah, you're supposed to use in a well ventilated area. So I had to keep all the windows open. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Maybe while I'm doing this, I can try to think of the words that I'm actually going to put on the jacket. First thing that comes to mind is, well, actually, I really want them to be more than just words. I guess I just want them to really have meaning, whether it's meaning to myself or an affirmation or, I don't know, a poem or an inspirational quote. So what would that be? What phrases have I heard throughout my life that have, meant something to me. 
Anytime I've gone into an interview or had an interview or had to give a big presentation, my mom will always say to me before I before I go, she'll be like, just I know you'll just dazzle them. <laughs> like, I think that's gonna have to go on here for sure. When I was in grade school, I was quite the little feminist, and I used to have a sweatshirt that said I'd play with the guys, but where's the challenge? <laughs> I actually forgot about it until recently when my brother somehow brought it up. I guess he remembered it. And yeah, I always kind of thought as a guy, <laughs> didn't he think of that shirt <laughs> back in the day? The poem by Amanda Gorman, The Hill We Climb, that she read during the inauguration was also something that really stuck with me. Let's see, what else? What other lyrics do I like? Anything by Taylor Swift. Too much to choose from. I feel like in some way, everything that I make is a labor of love, but this is especially a labor of love, and let me show you why. I've got all my words cut out of the Cricut and it's like three, like I got them just sitting here on wax paper. But for each one of these, and I mean each one of these, I've had to weed each and every D, O, B, A, like, oh my gosh, you can see here, each one. I've had to weed out. And I've been doing this for the last few hours. Like, see how sticky that is? See, I gotta pick all those off. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't even stand it. How do I get that off of there? Get off of there. This is gonna look awesome, but I'm ready for this part to be done with. And luckily I only have a few strands left. I feel like with every project, there's always that one fun part. And with this project, we're at the fun part. So let's get the party started. Well, I play with the guys, but where's the challenge? Officially made it on the coat. Like, yay, it's on there, it looks good. Um, the next quote is, I was, the thing is, I was born brilliant, born bad, and a little mad. And that is a quote from one of my favorite movies, Cruella. I love that movie and I love that quote. And I have to put this easy press over the buttons and let's just hope that I don't melt one of the buttons. <laughs> Cause that would be bad. Well, if there was any question whether or not I should use this holographic, um, the answer is yes. <laughs> Cause would you look at that? Okay, quick check-in. So I have authentic, like right in the middle, going right <laughs> across my waist. Brilliance all the way over here, can't even see it. <laughs> I need to work on my placement. <laughs> okay, so much has happened in the last couple of days. Besides dyeing my hair pink, I've actually made a ton of progress on the coat. Here is a quick scan. Woohoo! I just have this little bit to go at the end and I wanted to save the end to do with you because there was actually a lot of strategic decisions that needed to be made at the end because I only have so much more space and I knew what I wanted to end with. I want the last phrase to be let there be peace. So I had a bunch of like figuring out to do of what I was going to put in this amount of space and I'll go through some of the quotes that I chose and why, because it actually kind of ties into what I put on the top of the coat, like some of the, one of the quotes I put on the top, but I also wanted to explain the storytelling throughout the coat. I'm not gonna go through every quote on the coat. You can find that all in my magazine newsletter, but I wanted to go through the ones that I highlighted and like what they say and, and just what it says. So I start with highlighting brilliant and authentic because I guess those are just two adjectives that I always want to stay with me. Like I always want to lean into all the ideas I have, like just really lean into being a smart person. Like I don't always feel like a smart person and it's just a reminder that yes, I am brilliant and I am and always want to stay authentic to myself. And then I have highlighted, I want to evolve. And I just think it's a reminder that to myself, I feel like I've evolved. 
like when I was growing up, I was a huge tomboy and into sports and then I kind of got into fashion and I wanted to be an athletic trainer and then I wanted to be a, well, I wanted to be a photographer and then an athletic trainer and then I got into finance and then I got into marketing and like I've evolved so much and I always want to continue to evolve and dazzle them and dazzle them is what my mom says to me before I go into any interview or like I'm about to give a big presentation, my mom is always like, I know you're just gonna dazzle them. And I just always loved hearing that. And then the second to last quote is be it. And it's just a reminder to reinforce dazzling them, like be it, like be that person who just vibrates at the highest level and just dazzles them. And that is your true, authentic, brilliant self. See full circle here. And then the last quote is until the very end, which huge spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen Harry Potter movies, but until the very end is from the last book of Harry Potter, at the end of the last book of Harry Potter, where Harry realizes that he is the seventh Horcrux. And in order to defeat Voldemort, he has to sacrifice himself as the seventh Horcrux, which means he basically has to go to Voldemort, like to his death. So his parents like end up being there and Harry says to his dad, you'll stay with me. And his dad says until the very end. And I think it's just such a wonderful book of love and bravery and just dazzle them. Brilliant, authentic. I want to evolve and dazzle them, be it, until the very end. All right, so let's wrap this up. There are some lines that I have to manipulate the words a little bit here to like get them to fit. And then in order to protect all of the other words, I've been using this wax paper to put over it so it doesn't like, I don't know, pull up some of the other words. So my third to last quote is wreaking havoc at galas is my personal specialty. Not everyone appreciated that, but I wasn't for everyone. And how that ties this in together is, can anyone name that movie or that quote? It's from Cruella, the Disney movie. And how it ties in is at the top, very top, the second quote um, that I used was also from Cruella, which was, the thing is, I was born brilliant, born bad, a little mad. And I felt like with my hair being this color, <laughs> <laughs> that took me a couple of days to get used to. I really wanted to like lean into Corella, who just makes no apologies for herself. All right, I feel like once I get to the last two lines, I actually need to work from the bottom up. I feel like I've been doing this non-stop for the last three days. Okay, we've reached the very last piece to put on there. And I feel like I need to sit down for this. <laughs> Until the very end. That's how we're ending this. And it fits perfectly. patiently waiting for it to cool down so I can peel it off. The spacing is a little weird here. Probably could have done that a little bit better. Ta-da! <laughs> wow. When we count down until the art museum event, when I get to put the whole outfit together. So cannot wait to see what that looks like. Well, didn't end up wearing the outfit to the art museum, but I did wear it to the opera seeing a rendition of Cinderella. And I had to make some adjustments to the whole outfit. Like I had to switch out the blue top for the white top, but I think the outfit came together beautifully and I am in love with this coat. I got so many compliments. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.